So we're here at the uh, Petcom. Hi. Hi, how are we doing? So who are you? So I'm Gerard Berger, I'm with Stream Gear, and we're launching a new product called Vidimo. Vidimo is a two-part system. It is the hardware, which brings an HDMI signal into your cell phone, and you can also bring in uh, uh, analog source as well as a, a wired remote control if you have a use case for that. Once it's in the cell phone, now you have six user configurable scenes. So I set up this this um, uh, show as uh, for a uh, uh, fictional uh, island called Fun Island. And scene one is my preview show. So I just want to go live. I get people in that don't want to be on camera yet. Once I want to go live on camera, I can click to a live source. So this is showing the HDMI source. This is showing the rear facing camera. And so you can also use a smartphone's camera. Yep, yep, you, either the forward or the rear facing. It's, it's a configuration. That means you have three cameras in one. Yep, yep. Um, and then um, you can also add videos. So I, if I pre recorded a couple of videos and then I went live, I could go to that video. And then once it's done, I can set an end action for it to go to a specific scene, hide the video, or, or go on a free, freeze frame. And then of course, you can do all kinds of, of editing. You can add in new sources. So any of these sources, I already have the HDMI and the cell phone camera added. Um, I can add in text and, and other elements. So here's the text element. It's as easy as clicking on the element to edit it, drag it around, resize it. Uh, this is an image, which is a, a ping, which is a transparent layer, so it overlays pretty nicely. And then these elements I can drag around. These you can see as I drag around the elements, you can snap to to be able to align with other elements, as well as adopt the features to be able to go in and do pixel by pixel assignments, position those elements. Now, each scene has its own audio mixer, and each audio mixer can for that scene so that you can have uh, you have the sources that apply to whatever you have on that scene. And then so audio mixer, so there's, there's a sound from the camera. Sound from the camera, the the, the sound input here, input as well as the cell phone camera. So you have a mini jack input here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the camera the, the smartphone can have a Bluetooth sound or any sound from the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Can you take Bluetooth sound? So it will, it will take the sound from the phone. To yeah. be Bluetooth? So if you have it assigned as a Bluetooth, I would guess that it's going to use that. Um, but we're still piloting on the hardware oh, and we're working out some of those details. Uh, but um, what was the next that thing? That means you could, oh. have a, you could have a yeah. shotgun mic here. Yeah. You could have a wireless, dual label wireless connected here. Yep. yep. And then you could have a third thing here and you mix the whole thing. Yep. Yep. And what show would be complete if you didn't have lower thirds? So we have um, we have five <laughs> five pre pre-configured templates or you can start from scratch. And then once you uh, go live, so I'll go live and then go to a scene. Now I can I can hit my lower thirds. I can select a lower third and have that come up for the show. And then also we have a telestrator function, so I can draw on the screen. And in 10 seconds that's going to go away. And in 15 seconds, how are you, sir? Good. How are you? I'm doing very well. So that's good about. It gives you a lot of power in handheld solution. How do you uh, select the output? So Can I select uh, live YouTube? Yep, yep. The Vidimo belt. So, so what we do with the Vidimo belt, here you, we, we have take your existing or, uh, uh, either DSLR and, uh, and Facebook or live. point and shoot and camera. You can also add in our TMP server <laughs> with so our that hardware. It really can take you anywhere you want to go. So, <clears throat> and more platforms are coming. What's happening is that it's taking the HDMI and it's encoding in an easy to use format over here. Yep. Or is it sending out the, the 1080p 60 to the phone? 
Uh, I, so it, it's, it's sending the 1080p60 to the phone, and then then it goes into the into the mix environment, and then the mix environment goes out to the to, goes out live. Do you need a powerful phone? No, um, we have a. Uh, actually, this one. This is a, this is a, um, a Moto G7 or G5. It's not expensive. So it's not expensive. This is a $200 phone that I'm demoing. <laughs> you can get a 5G phone like that one. Oh yeah, we can also do the 5G. That has more stable bandwidth, maybe. It will. It will. 5G is going to be a really game changer for what you can do from a contribution perspective. But if you don't have 5G, can you bond multiple LTEs? With this and the cell phone, LTE is becoming very stable. And of course, cell phone connectivity is only as good, but you can also go Wi-Fi to the phone. So if you're on a Wi-Fi network, you can stream out on the Wi-Fi. You don't have a solution to bond two phones. No, or something. no, it's not, not at this point. So is this coming to the market how soon? This is going to come to market in March. And, uh, and uh, the licensing for the app, so the, the app is free. Uh, it will be free via Play Store and, uh, and Apple Store. Uh, you can use it with Vidimo, it unlocks the app. If you use it standalone, it'll have a watermark. And then eventually you'll be able to buy a license and you can use it as a standalone product. So you could record here, record here, and stream. You can have two recordings in one stream. Does it record what's happening here? So it's only recording your program feed. So if you want to record here, you obviously you can record on the phone and then record to the phone's SSD. So that will be your ISO on the phone or on the on the on the camera. Sorry. And the edited one is what can be recorded here. The edited one will be recorded to the phone. Can or it's optional, right? You can stream or record it. It's right. Yeah. Either or. Or both at the same time. What's the price? So, not we're not established yet, but it'll be somewhere north of uh, in this configuration, somewhere south of 600 in the DSLR camcorder configuration, somewhere north of 600. What's the difference between the DSLR and this one? The DSLR mount has a slide mount. Has what? The, the slide mount. Sorry, I got the reverse. So this has the mount here. So um, the what? Sorry. So the mount. So so you can you can move this and put it on the balance of your camera. So if I if I look if you look at this camera over here, you can see that its position is different because you want to be able to get this to the back of the camera so that you can touch the controls. But the hardware is the same here. The hardware is the same. It just got some tilt. Yeah. 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 Any plans to do a 4K version? Uh, yes. Yes. I don't have a timetable for it, but there will because, be a 4K version. Because you've got something going on here. Uh, right. At uh, or yeah. something. Right well, now, there's a lot in the roadmap. Uh, I won't go into all the details, but our roadmap is pretty extensive. This is the first product to market. I think yep. we knocked it out of the park with the first product. We're opening up a whole new class of video production, and um, there will be more and more good things to come once we launch once we launch the initial product. Uh, Stream Gear has done a bunch of hardware before. Is the first product? This is the first product for Stream Gear. Stream Gear came about because there was a, we had a group of engineers and people that we looked at each other and said we can do some great things together. And this is an example of how good we can do. What were you doing before? I've been in the streaming industry for 20 years. So I uh, I co-found for 20 years. I co-founded a CDN in 1998. Which one? Uh, Power Stream. Power Stream. Yeah. What does Firestream do? Oh, it, it, I sold that company long ago. So, so uh, streaming technology. So, so, yeah, right. He's a lot right. smarter than I am. Yeah.